Indians want to end employment with Russian armed forces. India and Russia are working to ensure early discharge of Indians recruited into the Russian armed forces, the Ministry of External Affairs of India said. In his visit to Moscow last week, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had raised the issue with Russian President Vladimir Putin. We are aware of about 50 Indian nationals who currently wish to end their employment in the Russian armed forces, spokesman of Ministry of External Affairs Randhir Jaiswal said. These are cases where the individual or his stroke her family members have approached us for assistance in securing their early discharge, the spokesperson said during his weekly media briefing. Jaiswal said the matter has been pursued with Russia at various levels, including at the leadership level. The Prime Minister raised this matter during his recent visit to Russia. The Russian side has responded positively to our request. Both sides are working for early discharge of Indian nationals, he said. Earlier, relatives have appealed to the government of India in the past two weeks on behalf of some of the dozens of Indian men who have been tricked into fighting for the Russian army and want to return home. Last month, the Ministry of External Affairs said the issue of Indian nationals serving with the Russian army remains a matter of utmost concern and demanded action from Moscow over it. On June the 11th, India said two Indian nationals who were recruited by the Russian army had recently been killed in the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict, which took the number of such deaths to four. Following the deaths of two Indians, the Ministry of External Affairs demanded a verified stop to further recruitment of Indian nationals by the Russian army. India is one of Russia's major economic partners and has exponentially increased its imports of Russian crude oil in recent months. An explosion has injured at least seven people near the U.S. Embassy in the Israeli city of Tel Aviv. A man in his 30s and a woman in her 20s suffered shrapnel wounds, while others sustained lighter injuries, according to the Times of Israel. According to Baza Telegram Channel, the UAV that came over the Red Sea exploded at the intersection of Ben Yehuda and Shalom Aleichem streets, 100 meters from the U.S. Embassy building. In another report, the Houthis claimed responsibility for the attack. So, they used the new Yaffa UAV which is capable of covering a long distance and hitting the target without being noticed by the enemy during the attack. The blast was preceded by a loud whirring noise, according to eyewitnesses and footage circulating online. Police are studying the shrapnel and debris to determine whether the explosion was caused by a drone, local media reported. The Israel Defense Forces is also investigating the incident, which it suspects was caused by an aerial target, a military term it uses for drones, the Times of Israel wrote. No air sirens were heard ahead of the blast, the newspaper reported. Meanwhile, Yemen's Houthi rebels have claimed responsibility for the incident. The specific operation, the details of which will be announced, targeted Tel Aviv in occupied Palestine, Houthi spokesman General Yehia Sari wrote on X. The blast took place less than a few hundred meters from the former U.S. Embassy building in Tel Aviv on Shalom Aleichem Street, local media reported. The explosion happened in the air and the sound reportedly carried to nearby towns. The blast apparently occurred at some altitude, Haritz quoted the police as saying. We still do not know what it was. Right now, we are clearing the area. There was a lucky escape here. Police added that eyewitnesses saw a red lump in the sky, which could explain why the explosion didn't occur in a building or on the ground. Several photos circulating on X showed alleged fragments of a drone at the scene. One showed a piece of hull made of a substance that looked like fiberglass, with metal parts attached. Another showed a wing lying on the sidewalk, longer than the height of a person, next to a group of people. Look at them. No, I'm not going to